In this tutorial, we are going to apply a solved example on Harris corner detection. So let's say we have this input image like this, and for this highlighted region, we want to get the Harris matrix using these differentiation kernels, this in terms of X and this in terms of Y. So let's start doing this. So we will start by getting the derivative in terms of X using this differentiation kernel. Now for the first pixel, we will put the center of the kernel on the pixel itself. So the zero will be on the zero and so this negative one will be on this one and this one will be on this five. Then we will multiply. So one by negative one is equal to negative one plus zero multiplied by zero is equal to zero plus five multiplied by one is equal to five. So we have negative one plus five. This will be equal to four like this. Now again for this pixel, again we'll put the center of the kernel on the pixel itself, so this 0 will be on this 5, and so this negative 1 will be on this 0, and this 1 will be on this 7. Again we will multiply, 0 by negative 1 is equal to 0, plus 5 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0, plus 7 multiplied by 1 is equal to 7. So the answer is 7. Now again for this pixel 7. Again, we'll put the center on the pixel, so the 0 will be on the 7, and so negative 1 will be on this 5, and 1 will be on 11. Negative 1 multiplied by 5, this will be equal to negative 5, plus 7 multiplied by 0, this will be equal to 0, plus 11 multiplied by 1, this will be equal to 11. So negative 5 plus 11, this will be equal to 6, like this and so on for the other pixels like this. Now we will start by getting the derivative in terms of y using this differentiation kernel. So for this first pixel, again we will put the center of the kernel on the pixel, so this 0 will be on this 0, and so this negative 1 will be on this 0, and this 1 will be on this 4 like this. 0 by negative 1 is equal to 0, plus 0 by 0 is equal to 0, plus 4 by 1, which is equal to 4, like this. Now, again, for this pixel, again, we'll put the center, which is 0, on this 5. And so, negative 1 will be on this 1, and this 1 will be on this 9. 1 by negative 1 is equal to negative 1, plus 5 multiplied by 0 is equal to 0, plus 9 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 9. So, we have negative 1 plus 9. So, the answer is 8, like this and so on for the other pixels in this case. Now, after getting the x derivative and the y derivative, now we can get the Harris matrix. To do this, we will say 4 power 2, like this, plus 7 power 2, plus 6 power 2, plus 8 power 2, plus 8 power 2 again, plus 7 power 2, plus 8 power 2, plus 6 power 2, plus 5 power 2. And this will be the result. Now we will put this result in this upper left corner like this. Okay? And we will do the same for the y. So we will say 4 power 2 plus 8 power 2 plus 8 power 2 plus 8 power 2 plus 6 power 2 plus 7 power 2 plus 6 power 2 plus 6 power 2 again plus 4 power 2. And this again will be the result. And we will put this result in the right bottom corner like this okay now we will do the following we will say 4 multiplied by 4 plus 7 multiplied by 8 plus 6 multiplied by 8 plus 8 multiplied by 8 plus 8 multiplied by 6 plus 7 multiplied by 7 plus 8 multiplied by 6 plus 6 multiplied by 6 plus 5 multiplied by 4 and this will be the result and we will put this result in this case in the upper right corner and the bottom left corner like this so this is the Harris matrix now after getting the Harris matrix like this now we can determine if the region is a corner edge or a flat to do this we will get the Harris corner score this will be equal to the determinant of H, which is the matrix. And to get the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix like this, simply we will multiply these two numbers together, minus 
these two numbers multiply by each other and this will be the result minus k which is a constant the value of this k in this case will be equal to 0 0.04 like this multiply by the trace of h power 2 and to get the trace of a matrix simply add the values on the diagonal so in this case this is the diagonal so we will sum this value plus this value and this will be the result and this will be the final result now to determine if the region is a corner edge or a flat we will check these conditions now if c is a large value this will be a corner now in this case this is a negative so it will not be a corner now if c is a negative this will be an edge in this case c is a negative so in this case this will be an edge and if the magnitude of c is small this will be a flat so in this case since it is negative it will be an edge like this